Listen to me, yeah, listen to me, man. Um, so we just watched the Terrence Crawford versus Kale Brook fight. You know, I seen why I think I seen a, a little bit of what I think I needed to see. Now look, man, let me t let's break down this Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford fight, man. What I seen from Kale Brook tonight was not. Let me repeat, he was not the same. He Kale Brook wasn't what he was when he fought Earl Spence. I think he was about 50%. You feel me? He was sharp with the jab, and he didn't throw the right hand as much, but he threw it, and he landed it, and he swelled up uh, Terrence Crawford eye, I think his left eye, and um, and his eye was red. You see, his eye, Kale Brook eye was like kind of red, and it was kind of turning red a little bit now. Terrence Crawford set him up with that right hook. That was the right hook that he set him up with. Um, Cause I seen it was I think the second or third round where Kara Brook threw a right hand right and leaned it to Terrence Crawford using his weight, and Terrence Crawford slipped it and, and turned him, almost tipped him over, which showed me a sign of his strength. Like okay, he definitely strong and wiry. You feel me? There's, there's no doubt about him being wiry. He definitely wiry, athletic, and the way he can throw punch from angles is great. Uh, I re I'm going to have to say that he, he'll beat Sean Porter. Terrence Crawford, I, I definitely will pick him over Terrence Crawford now. I, I, I think I seen some shit that showed me he'll beat Sean Porter. I, I'll pick him over Sean Porter. It'll be a tough fight, though, close for sure, but I'll pick him. Because the way he throw his punches in, his combinations and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I thought, before this fight, I thought he probably should have utilized the ring, but he didn't do that. He stood his ground, staying toe-to-toe -to -toe camper. And um, he, 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 was getting, he was getting caught, and he had a hard time dictating range and shit like that because Cam Brook was longer than him, you know. His own, you know he had a longer reach. Than Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford had some good reach too, but Kale Brook reach was longer, and he was controlling the range and distance and pace of the fight with his jab. You know, and he landed some good right hands and he landed a good left hook in there too. I think the second round. I'm, I'm talking about Kale Brook. Now Terrence Crawford made an adjustment. He turned the southpaw and he set him up with the right hook. And that's when he caught Cam Brook. The way Cam Brook took that shot, I, I seen it. I'm like, okay. He he his chin, he he wasn't he he ain't the same. He he wasn't the same. But it's hard for me to say that because I don't want to take credit away from Crawford. I don't want to take credit from Crawford. But it's it's the truth. It's the truth. He wasn't the same though. He was he he was washed up for sure. He was washed up. You know what I'm saying? You see flashes of, of the old Cam Brook, but he wasn't like really, really like letting his hands go. He he came in big and shit. He was big as shit. He wasn't letting his hands go like he did in the Earl Spence fight. And he was I seen Earl Spence hit that nigga with way harder right hooks than that. I seen the actual right hook that broke his orbital bone that Earl Spence hit him with. It was a harder punch than that right hook that Terrence Crawford just hit him with. So I know for a fact he wasn't the same. I'm not just saying that. Uh, yeah, I know I keep it I keep it real on my channel. I'm 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 telling the truth. Like he wasn't the same, bro. You feel me? But Nonetheless, Terrence Crawford made him look average. You feel me? He 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 caught his ass and he finished his ass. He got him the fuck. He made him. He stopped that nigga. And it is what it is. But now on the Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence jab is definitely gonna control the fight when he fight. But I'm talking about. Terrence Crawford might go the whole fight without being able to get past Earl Spence jab or some real shit. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be down there half of the fight where Terrence Crawford can't even get past the jab. Do you understand what I'm saying? That jab, you know what I'm saying? Earl Spence fight is nowhere near 
the way Cal Brook just fought this dude, man. Cal Brook defense is grappling this shit. I told y'all in my prediction video, he, 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 his defense is grappling and, and holding this shit. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have some real, real defense. He was, he, you know what I'm saying? The way he took that shot, his hands was nowhere fucking around covering his face. His head, <laughs> you feel? He just took the shot, like, hit me here. You know what I'm saying? Like, the shit was crazy. You feel me? But, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Bud is definitely a top three fighter in the welterweight division, for sure. For sure, for sure. I got to give it to him. He the top. He, he in the top three. Earl Smith's my number one. And number two and number three is between Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter. However you want to cut it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We have to fight, see them fight to actually see, like, who who really better between them two. That would be a good-ass fight. But you know what I want to see. Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Earl Spence, you know what I'm saying, will. He'll, he'll beat the shit out of Bud. I see some shit. You know what I'm saying? But Bud ain't no pushover either you can't just put anybody in there with bud or you can't come in there 50 percent 70 percent you know what i'm saying earl spence definitely gotta come in a hundred percent to do him in like i think earl spence gonna do him in earl gotta be a hundred percent you know what i'm saying for sure uh you know what i'm saying weight with weight and everything like that which i already see with the type of shit earl spence on earl spence is in the hundred percent mold that I know he got to be in to beat, but like how I vision him to beat Bud because he will beat Bud. He, you know what I'm saying? He gonna beat the shit out of Bud. But I'm glad Bud won because I need that train to keep moving for niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's like I, I, if Bud would have lost that, I ain't got no ops. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have some ops. You feel me? I gotta have. Some shit to talk to some fucking body. So I'm glad he won. So now, you know what I'm saying, his fans grew even stronger. They got a little more, you know what I'm saying, confidence and shit like that. But at the end of the day, Earl Spence has way more fucking tools. Way more fucking tools. You feel me? But they two different fighters. You feel me? But they, I see both of them like to, you know what I'm saying, Bud like to set up people too. You know what I'm saying? Just like Earl, you like to set traps. But I think a fighter like Earl Spence would fall for that stupid ass. Excuse me, that stupid ass shit. But Earl Spence wouldn't, he wouldn't uh, fall for a lot of that shit, man. That Bud like to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Earl Spence fuck around, win a whole fucking first half of the fight. And then, you know what I'm saying? The second half of the fight, he have been beat. Because Cal Brook landed some good body shots. Some good body shots on uh, Terrence Crawford. But he's not a body puncher, so he wasn't really going to them. I got a little cold in my nose and this stuff. But, yeah, man. Uh, Cal Brook is not a body puncher. He wasn't really going. He wasn't really going to Crawford, Brook, uh, Crawford body a lot to try to, like, break him down. He was just throwing a jab and throwing a right hand in there sometimes. You know what I'm saying? He he doesn't bring the intensity. Listen to me. He doesn't bring the intensity and the ring generalship as Earl Spence brings in the ring. The fight with Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford would be totally different. That shit was, like, you feel me? It was a good ass fight while it lasted. It was a nice little technical fight, for sure, for sure. But book wasn't the same, bro. But at the end of the day, man, he he gets his credit. Like I just gotta throw that in there because it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? When Earl Spence get in the ring with with but I believe that Earl Spence jab is gonna control the fight, and then you know what I'm saying body punches. You know what I'm saying? Straight lefts to the body. You feel me? Uh, Earl Spence is more of a, what I want to say. You know what I'm saying? What I want to say. It's something that I want to say, like, what's the word I want to use? It's like, 
he I I don't want to say he's the bigger man, but he 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 take up a lot of the ring. Earl Spence when he in the ring with you, he take up a lot of the ring. You move left, you you move it to your left. Earl Spence step to the right. You feel me? You try to go back, motherfucker, to your right. Earl Spence turn it to his right. Turn it. I mean, turn it to the left. So he 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 makes the ring feel small for you. So, but. See, Bud had a nice little rhythm, and he was, like, shifting left and right, shifting left and right. But it was times where you could still catch him. Boom, catch him with the jab. Boom, catch him with the jab. Boom, Cat Book jab was very successful. You know what I'm saying? Body punching, you know what I'm saying? He should have kept going to the body. But I know that's what Earl Spence is great at. He's the best body puncher in boxing. Earl Spence is. You know what I'm saying? He the better he the best body puncher in boxer. Number two is Canelo. You know what I'm saying? Um because Earl Smith's whole game revolves to breaking you down, jab, hitting you with the jab, pawing the jab. See Kemba wasn't really pawing the jab. His, his activity wasn't he he wasn't the same, bro. His activity wasn't like crazy, like it, you feel he was fighting at one pace. He was never able to turn it up. Let go the right hand. Keep letting it go. Shoot that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? When I envision Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford in the ring, I envision a high intensity, high p- fast pace type of fight where you thinking fast, thinking fast. You feel me? Earl Spence never overcommits to where he get caught with that fucking stupid ass right hook. That that bud just do, and then you know, <laughs> it, it's just a lot of shit that Earl Spence gonna be able to take advantage of Crawford. All. Crawford, like I said, his body wide open. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, Book caught him with a nice left hook. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I I I, I caught a glimpse of a lot of shit in this fight, but at the end of the day, I didn't get to see like. Every everything I wanted to see, I seen it enough for me to talk on this subject. No, I take that back. I saw enough to praise him and shit like that, but I haven't seen enough to make me say he's a, a lot of competition for Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? I just know he a, he a good ass fighter. I'm talking about Bud. I just know he a good ass fighter. That's all I can say. He a good ass fighter. But he loses to Earl Spence. Earl Spence has plenty more tools than what Cam Brook showed us tonight. Um, so we'll see, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Minute video, 13 minutes long. I just wanted to rap with y'all for a minute. Um, I would have went live, but, you know, I need a new laptop. I need a laptop. Um, by the end of the year or the, or the top of the year, I have my whole little studio set up and shit, you know what I'm saying, in the basement and shit. I'm going to set up my studio or whatever. Uh, I'm going to have everything, my monitors, my mic and all my shit, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to take this shit real serious, so y'all can look forward to that. I'm going to come with that for sure, either by the end of the year or the top of next year. Look forward to that. But uh, other than that, man... I'm going to get some rest, man. Try to fight this, finish fighting this little cold. Uh, I ain't got no COVID or no shit like that. I just got a little cold in my nose stuff. But that's all, man. Y'all hit that like button to support the channel, man. And subscribe uh, if you ain't subscribed already. Yeah, uh, what I'm going to say, if, um, you know, picking bud is not a crime to me. You know what I'm saying? If somebody come to the video, you know what I'm saying, this shit is about boxing. You got to pick somebody. So if you pick Bud to be Spence, you is not my enemy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to toss some shit to you for sure because I, 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 I got a strong case on why Earl win. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, I'm not mad at you or no shit like that. You can always come here and rap for Bud. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a, 
super fight for us. Yeah, it is what it is, you know. We're going to boost it make that. We're going to make that shit big. I'm going to do my part for sure. But I'm out, y'all. Peace, man. I'll holler at y'all tomorrow.